Trend lines are one of the most valuable tools that you can have in your trading toolbox. Now imagine for a moment what it would be like to try to build a house without a hammer or even without a nail gun. Well, that's exactly what trading without trend lines is like. And knowing how to properly use trend lines can save you a lot of money and also allow you to enter and exit trades in confidence. Today, I'm going to break it down for you. Pro Talk Crypto. Welcome to Chart School Lecture 102, the second official training video in our Chart School playlist here at the Road Dog Crypto channel. Free for you to watch, like, and enjoy, and hopefully help put your life on a more secure financial path in the crypto market. Now, today we're talking about trend lines and establishing proper procedure for identifying and drawing them. And by the end of this video, you will have mastered one of the most insightful tools available to help you gain an edge on any market that you choose to trade. Follow me now over to the Bitcoin Daily Chart on TradingView. One very important note before we begin. For this entire course, please make sure that the log scale is turned off. Now you can find the selector for this located at the bottom right corner of your trading view screen right over in this area. Just make sure that it's not blue and that it's in the white. When we connect price action tops and bottoms, we also call those peaks and valleys. When we connect those with a line, that line is called a trend line. And most often it'll either be diagonal or straight. However, there are three types of trend lines that we need to be familiar with. First, we have internal trend lines, which cut through prices and wicks with the thinking that the line represents the majority of trader sentiment. External trend lines, however, only connect the price ends. They do not cut through price action, and these are actually what I use the most. The third type of trend line are called curved trend lines, which may begin straight, but curve over or under a scalloped or rounding type pattern. Now, these are very important for some patterns and parabolic movements. Now, a quick note, draw trend lines for the best fit. If it happens to cut through price action, yet it still accurately represents the overall strength of the trend, let it ride. No worries. So you might be asking, how are trend lines helpful? Well, firstly, they help you to identify the overall trend. Drawing trend lines on the peaks will help you identify the moment trend changes when price is breaking past the area and making a move upward toward newer levels. Now, likewise, drawing trend lines on the valleys will help you determine if or when the trend line is changing to the downside. But not only do trend lines signal a trend change or a reversal, but they also outline the pattern boundaries. And once you understand more about chart patterns and the statistics behind them, your profit game will soon be on the upside. Your assignment for the next few days and weeks is to open a chart and start drawing trend lines. Connect those tops and bottoms of price action and see what pattern shapes you end up with. You might already start seeing some relationships that you didn't even notice before. All right, so what I wanna do right now, is just take a few moments. I'm gonna go over to the line tool over here. I'm gonna grab that and I'm gonna draw a couple of trend lines. I'm gonna lay one here at the top of this peak Gently lay it onto the very next peak, and right there I've got a trend line. Now I also want to do the underside, and so what we want to do is look to where this line started. Where did this leg start? It started right here. So I'm going to go to this bottom. I'm going to grab it right there on that corner, lay it right on top of this next valley, carry it on over, and look at that. We've got one, two, three very nice touches. They are coming in onto the wicks. And at the top, we've got two touches there. Now, if we go ahead and extend that on out, we see that we have a pattern that kind of formed here. It's called a falling wedge. And there are statistics behind it, which happen to be pretty good, uh, that they usually break to the upside about 68% of the time. Let's go and see if we can find another pattern to look for. And just to mix it up a little bit, I think I'm just going to switch over to the four hour. So I'm going to go right here, lay this on top, lay that on top, and look. We've got a trend line. Now let's go get our bottom. Downside is right here. Now, this is an external trend line. If we cut through that, that becomes an internal trend line. Now, do you see the difference here? Do you see that how this line actually represents most of the trades? Whereas if I were to move this line down here, which is also valid because this makes a channel, but it has blocked through two touches. You've actually got several different variations there to get some information. And it does show respect in each one. Bounce off the trend line here. When we connect it this way, we've got bouncing on that point of resistance there. And even if we take it out all the way and connect on the external, it still respects that trend line also. 
it's quite common to draw a trend line on a pattern and adjust it over time as the pattern starts playing out. Now, this particular pattern has something called a measured loop, which we will get into later, but let's just go ahead and play around with it now. The thing you can do is take a measure when you find these patterns, and then it tells you where to expect price to go down to. That's pretty cool, huh? Now, here I am on the four hour, and here we've got a curved area. Now, the way we draw curved trend lines is that we go over to this one, two, three, fourth icon down where it has the paintbrush. We just move on down to where it says curve, click that. We'll go to the area, say where the curve starts. We'll click. We just move it to the area where the curve stops. And now we take the middle area and just pull it down. And that gives us a curved trend line. Now, these come in very handy for finding patterns such as cups and handles or scallop. Congratulations, guys. You are well on your way to mastering basic technical analysis. Now look how far you've come already. And honestly, has it been anywhere near as difficult as you thought before? It's really not complicated. And that's what I'm trying to get you to understand. You can do this and you can break out of that rat race at the same time. Now, if you're new to the channel, please consider hitting the like and subscribe. And also check out our other videos in this series, which are located in the Chart School playlist here on the Road Dog Crypto channel. Until next time, I'm Lane, your crypto road dog riding this journey with you and showing you all the coolest attractions along the way. I'll catch you on the next video. Road Dog Crypto. Road Dog Crypto.